If men are trash, then women are trash collectors. Yeah. I consider myself a teacher, a helper. A slapper. Um, someone who could possibly inspire people to be better. So with that being said, this is a PSA for all the men out there and all the boys who think they're men, but they're actually boys. This is going to And for the women that think they're women, but they're actually children. It's going to be the summer of canceling boys. All of my friends are attractive. All of my friends are successful. All of my friends are garden tools. Nothing but garden tools. Have something going on. Almost every single one of them have an issue with men. Yeah, but Tommy, is the issue really with men or the women? Women like you? If they're your friends, Tommy, then that would mean they're like you. Loudmouth, arrogant, self-entitled, thinks she's worth more than she is and wonders why she can't get a man. Oh, it's so surprising. I'm so surprised. It's shocking. Yeah. They're all successful. They're all intelligent. They're all good. Yeah, no offense to women, but yes, obviously men don't want dumb women. But the successful bit, yeah, many men don't really care. Yeah, so long as she looks good and she's not an idiot and she's not fully broken in debt, she's not a crazy baby mother, then yeah, she may be fine for most men. But most men don't care about a woman's degrees. Who cares? If she don't look better than her degrees, who cares? People. But if all of these women, including myself, are having issues, then I have to think, it might not be us. Yes, it is you, Tommy. Yes, it is you. I'm not just saying that because I'm a man and because my listeners are mostly men. Hello, men and women, by the way. Replicant fish here, obviously. I'm not just saying that because I'm a man. I'm saying that because many men have still tried to be traditional men. But you see, these men have come across women like you. So, of course, these men no longer want to be traditional. It's not men that have changed. It's just that women have been given more opportunities to be themselves. It might be you. It is not just the guys in Los Angeles, Nashville, Dallas, and it's not, they're not any better in the Midwest. They, quite frankly, I think they're trash all over this country. I've made notes. This is how I'm Just want to say, men in the USA, all over the USA, thank you very much. Here, 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 here. Cheers. Men in the USA, for what you have done to piss this woman off, her and her friends and many women like her, Thank you very much. You're doing a good job, man. Good job. Keep it up. How invested I am in this because I've been thinking about this for about two weeks solid now. Are you actually single single? That means single. That is the first question, believe it or not, that needs to be asked. And ladies, you should be asking it because in 2020, it's not a given anymore. That okay, it's not a given anymore that a guy's single. One point women should understand, some of these non-single guys that they go for or meet, many of these men can get women. So by the fact that they can get women and we live in a liberated culture where so many women are so loose, promiscuous, always trying to throw that whap around indeed, obviously many men have no need to care so much. Because from some men's point of view, there are just tons of women throwing themselves at them. So who has a need to care? Why care? Why not just flip and rotate them? Why not? So some of these men, some of these women are meeting that they're attracted to, Obviously, these men can get women. Nowadays, is it surprising that many men are just pumping and dumping? Even men with girlfriends and wives? It's not good, but it's not surprising either. That a guy that's actively pursuing you is actually single. Women do not want a pen pal. We don't want a texting pal. We quite frankly don't care if you text us all day or if you don't text us at all. If you're not going to make a plan to actually see us in person, not interested. Make a plan. Oh my god, she is so frustrated. Thank you again, men all over the world and men from the USA. She seems very sexually frustrated, you know? <laughs> it's not funny, it's not funny, no, no, no. But you can imagine that sometime she may have been using her personal toy, yeah? Her cyborg penis. And it may have run out of batteries mid-process before she's reached, yeah? And in her frustration, the fact it's finished halfway through, she may throw it against the wall angry and then roll over and start crying in bed listening to the distant sounds of her personal toy turning on and off oh, how sad how sad i know it's not rocket science but men of 2020 it seems like it's pretty difficult for you to figure out no nope, no it isn't the thing is men of 2020 are seeing how more women are nowadays which is good it's very good 
So it's not that men have changed, no Tommy, it's that men have learned and are figuring things out, naturally. And I'm not a feminist, so please don't take this as a- Yes you are, yes she is men, don't listen to that, yes she is a feminist. You can hear by the way she talks that she is a feminist. But she knows that feminists aren't attractive to certain men. Certain men run when they hear a woman's a feminist, indeed run. So of course she knows, she can't sell herself as a feminist. And understand men, what she's doing here is not just man bashing. She's also advertising and promoting herself. Her single, frustrated, maybe sexless self. Oh, how sad. It's a feminist rant. I love men. If you want to date- No, she doesn't. Date a girl that has nothing going on, then that's fine. But please do not mix in people like me and my friends. No offense, Tommy. It's difficult to tell nowadays. It's hard to tell if a woman's a regular woman or a garden tool. Some men say fish, they're all garden tools. I'd say, meh, yeah, okay. Who have something going on. Quite frankly, we take it as an insult if we find out that you are also talking to five Tatianas who have no- Not really, because many women are attracted to men that can get women. So, yeah, come on, Tommy. Yeah, sell that nonsense to certain other men, but yeah, come on. Nothing going on. So value, value. There's a lot of women out there that I know that are my good friends who have amazing jobs, who work really hard, but who can't seem to find a decent guy. Maybe because they're trash like you, Tommy. Maybe because they're trash like you. Even if they go up in age five to 10 to 15 years, because those guys all want to be with 21 year olds who have nothing going on. Maybe because those naive 21 year olds aren't loud mouth, arrogant women like you. Maybe they understand that what they bring is themselves, their looks, their appearance, and sex. Not the loud mouth nagging thing you're doing now. Many women don't understand that their mouth is not worth more than their vag. As in, as in some women believe that they can say anything to men and men would still want them. No. No. Why go for you Tommy Laren, 27 year old Tommy Laren, when men can get a younger, hotter, less annoying woman? Why not? Now, I love a good Instagram story. Y'all know I do. I love a good boomerang. I love a good whatever. But if that's all you do, men, if that's all she does, probably Houston, we have a problem. Once I'm turned off, I am turned off. Bullshit. Yeah, who cares? I don't care anymore. Don't be a bitch. Don't be butt hurt. You did it to yourself. You did it to yourself, Tommy. You and many other women. It's fun. Okay? And it's no longer my problem. Now, it's become a personal problem of yours. I do have high standards and high expectations. You don't- Hey, you're getting older, Tommy. You should probably lower those expectations. You know, you're getting on now. You're not 21 anymore. <laughs> you don't really have to be Brad Pitt. You don't have to be famous. You don't even really have to make a lot of money or have a really fantastic job. You just have to be determined. You have to be in some way successful in that you want to attain some certain kind of success for yourself. You're driven, you have goals, you can handle a woman with standards. I was going to say something, but nah. That's not going to turn you off. And you're going to put in the effort to be with somebody like myself or my friends. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me stop laughing. Okay. Put in an effort to be with Tommy Laren. Bullshit. Yeah. Go on, man. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> oh, man, that's hilarious. We deserve that. And we will not compromise our standards. It will be a cold day in hell when I chase a man. We have. Yeah. Yeah. And it's coming to a point, Tommy, where it's a cold day in hell now because men aren't chasing you. Yeah. We've all dealt with men who treat us like we are not good enough. No, the problem is we are too enough and you can't handle it. Number nope, nope, Tommy. To be honest, Tommy, your sex is probably trash. Men may have slept with you and thought, nah, it's not cracked up to be what I thought it was. She's got a loud mouth, but her vag isn't saying much. It's not saying anything at all. So understand that, Tommy. Maybe some men abandon you and run from you because the sex is probably trash. Yeah, think about that one, Tommy. Number one, are you single? No, really. Two, Make plans. We don't want a pen pal. Three, value, value. Value someone who has value. Exactly.
Exactly, Tommy. Value someone that has value. Many women seem to think that their career and their loud mouth gives them value. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Consistency. Be consistent. Don't be great and then fade out. And then don't fade out and then think that you're going to fade back in because it ain't going to work. And last but not least, if all else fails, don't be a bitch. I consider myself a, a bitch. Oh, you mean don't be like you. Oh, I, oh, okay. Okay. Good point, Tommy. Good point. Don't be like you. We get it. Okay. So I will end here. There's only so much of Tommy Lauren I can take. No offense to her, but she's very regular. I'm not fooled by the makeup and all the crap she puts on to make herself look like she's, you know, something better than she is. I'm not even insulting her. What she should understand, she's very loud and annoying. She's spoken about what turns her off. What turns men off are women like her, who assume they're better than they are, who don't understand that their SMV, their sexual market value, matters more than their career and their loud mouth. But you see, the thing is, many women are learning this the hard way. And it's good. It's so good. <laughs> but enough maniacal laughter. For now, focus. Observe. Remember. The world is yours. Have a nice day.